It seems the best place, the safest place to see Jupiter, is from a distance. That's just beautiful. Dancing around the poles like the Aurora back home. But the Geiger counter is going wild. It seems even these are deadly, generated by lethal radiation pulled from space by Jupiter's powerful magnetic field. We're beginning to realize out here, nothing is what it seems. The universe is full of contradictions, deceptions, traps. Right now, we need a safe haven. Somewhere to find our feet, catch our breath. Maybe this, the multicolored moon Io, is it. Those pretty colors, a molten rock, sulfur, volcanoes, spewing burning hot ash and sulfur hundreds of kilometers into the air. This is no safe haven. This is the most volatile place we've seen since the sun. Our magical journey to the edge of the universe is turning into a desperate flight. We've got to keep believing, hoping that amidst the dangers, there are wonders waiting to be discovered. Six hundred and fifty million kilometers from home. What a weird looking place. And yet it looks strangely familiar. A bit like the Arctic with all that ice. All those ridges and cracks. This is Europa. And maybe like the Arctic. This ice is floating on water, liquid water. It's an intriguing thought, but we're 800 million kilometers from the sun. Surely Europa is frozen solid. Unless Jupiter's gravity is creating friction deep inside, stopping Europa from freezing solid, allowing life to develop in the waters beneath its frozen crust. We might be meters away from aliens. From a whole ecosystem of microbes, crustaceans, maybe even squid. The only thing between us and the possibility of alien life, this layer of ice. But until we send a spacecraft to drill through the ice, Europa will remain one of the solar system's greatest mysteries. It's captivated our imaginations, haunted our dreams. And here it is, spinning before our eyes. Saturn, the jewel in the solar system's crown. Seeing it makes everything we've experienced worthwhile. There's something magical about Saturn. A giant ball of gas, so light it would float on water. Its spectacular rings would stretch almost from Earth to the moon, but they're just a few hundred meters deep. That's the Cassini orbiter. It's picking up ghostly radio emissions, probably generated by auroras around Saturn's poles. This is the real music of the spheres. And Cassini is telling us these rings are probably all that's left of a moon shattered by Saturn's gravitational pull. Incomparable beauty from total destruction. Billions of shards of ice 
some as small as ice cubes, others the size of houses. They collide, break apart, reassemble. It's like a snapshot of our early solar system, as dust and gas orbited the newly born sun, and gravity worked its magic. Pulling the lumps together until from debris like this, our home emerged. We could stay here forever, gazing at Saturn's seductive allure. But we have to drag ourselves away. We've got so much further to go, so much more to learn. Which isn't easy when the largest object in sight is this moon, wrapped in thick clouds. Titan. like there's an atmosphere down here. There's wind, rain, even seasons. And look at these rivers, lakes and oceans. It's the most similar place to Earth we've seen so far. Maybe it was worth tearing ourselves away from Saturn after all. Except that's not water. That's liquid natural gas. There must be hundreds of times more natural gas here than all the Earth's oil and gas reserves. If we could get it home, it could power our cities, fuel our cars for thousands of years. Or maybe, one day, we could use it here to fuel a colony. Assuming there isn't life on Titan already. The Huygen space probe dropped onto Titan's surface from Cassini is here to find out. It's telling us there are organic materials in the soil, but it's so cold, minus 180 degrees. There's no way these could come together to form life, unless Titan warms up. The sun is predicted to get hotter. When it does, maybe life will spring up here just like it did on Earth billions of years ago. As the Earth gets too hot for us, maybe we'll move to Titan. One day we might call this distant place home. Home. We're at least a billion kilometers away now. Beyond this point, we lose visual contact with the Earth. We're standing on a cliff, looking out into the solar system's mysterious outer reaches. If we want to understand the universe, to reach its edge, we have to jump. Unseen from Earth, unknown.